This is episode 66 of Look What Just Found, abridged significant findings, and it was a good one. It was a good one. It was a good one. Um, not too many errors, but um, tons of um, AU pennies. These are the three coin rolls, and um, let's see, we have a straggler there. What's this? Oh, 1980, that's an AU. I'll put that over there. Um, that, let me put a little. Those are the zincs that we found. These are the more heavily circulated pennies we found. These are the, right? Am I correct? Am I, am I missing something? No. These are the uh, fines. Right? Keep the fine pennies in a separate roll. Very nice. Maybe one day, you know. It'll be considered like clean copper or something. <laughs> and these are the AUs. I'm not going to go through all of them, but look. Look how many we found. I mean, absolutely stunners. So many 1980s. It was like, I think it was like a 1980 roll almost, you know, I'll be honest with you. And then we found, oh, here's, an, here's another 1980. I don't think anything. Oh, yeah. So we found the few. That's where that, oh, where did I put it? Oh, I, I took one of my potentially errorful pennies and I put it with the other ones. I didn't realize it. Is that it? That might be it there. Let me see. So I'm re for the um, for the abridged version. I'm reusing the gloves, the finger the finger ones. Um, let's see how it goes. Today's the first day I'm trying that. Yeah, this is it. I think this is it. Yes. So it's um it's missing line die, but on the left it's really missing heavily missing the uh, the rim. You know, so I thought, I said, let me look at it. Oh, no. And um, look at those zinc blotches. How cool is that? Like camo almost. Yeah, so that's that's the that's the other reason I kept it. It's misaligned. Plus it has that uh, the zinc showing through in these certain. So that's a, a lamination error, right? Improper mixture um, of the... Um, of the metal for the planchet. So that one's pretty cool. This is the one that's uh also misaligned. And there was one that had this other that had this wild oh this is it yeah. See the surface? It looks um it's un it's not smooth like most like most penny fields are. You see it's like uh it's rough. It's rough. And it's only the it's only the reverse, so I obviously it has to do with unfinished um, smoothing of the planchet. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought there was a third one. Is this it? Oh yeah, the, on the reverse. I don't know what this is. It has that um, iridescent. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. It's very iridescent looking. So I'm also thinking this is some kind of lamination error. It's mostly, I mean, you can see the purple, violet around the, uh, the peripheral, mostly. But on the reverse, you really see that, I'm going to call it iridescent look. It's almost like a, it's almost like a, uh, a clear coat um, going over the, the reverse. So I, I hold on to that. Maybe I'll do a little short on it later. Is it worth anything? I don't know. Probably not. We found a couple wheat scents. A nice 1929. That's a beauty, huh? Everything is visible. Legible. It's not a uh, it's not a key date, but it's a cool First, uh, last 1920s, we found three 1959s. I hold on to all of these. First uh, Lincoln Memorial scent ever made, right? 1958 is the last wheat scent. This is the first 
Lincoln Memorial. Look at these 1982s. Um, I believe they are all copper Philadelphia large dates. I weighed them all in the video, so check out the video, the long version. Um, uh, look at that one. This one even. Let me see. This is how you check for rotated die. Slightly. You want, I want at least a, um, a 90 degree angle. So when I go like this, I want to see the, the, the link of memorial like that. That's worth money. But a 30, 40, 25, you know, like that, that's, that's not enough. That's pretty common. Look at the beauties, absolute stunners. Uh, you got the uh, the crimp roll, took off the two a little bit. Mostly came out of one roll. It's a nice, uh, whatever you want to call it, a uh, strike error, rim error, misaligned die error, whatever you want to call it. And lastly, we got this one here. And um, I'm going to put, this one is so heavily dirtied, I'm going to put it in the, um, <clears throat> right into the paint stripper. See the red ones in there? So I throw the, I throw the ones that have, so it's also painted. I don't know if you noticed that. Just r r not not it's not painted. It looks like paint. It's um it's annealing. So one day when I get the time, uh, yeah, I'll put it put it back and put it on myself. One day when I have the time, I will um I have that'll be a whole nother video that I do with all of the um I just keep a little paint stripper. Look how dirty it got. Right, in case it breaks and gets on the floor, you know, it doesn't create such a hazard. Um, so I just keep a little, and it soaks up through, I guess, somehow. And um, I started this, I think, over a month already. So there's pennies in here for, and there's a dime in there. And the, those are, um, and again, I'm not going to make this whole into a big uh, bonus feature or anything, but um, it'll take that dirt off. So we can look at the features. If not, I would just, it'll be, it's just a regular penny. So there's no, nothing lost, nothing, could be something gained, but nothing could be lost by doing that. Um, it does no damage to the penny, as far as I can tell. I'm not an expert. It does no damage to the penny, but it will clean it off. So if there's an error, now you can see it. So it'll be a, an error penny that's cleaned, which is better than throwing it back into the circulation pile and then you don't get, no uh, monetary value off. Okay, I'm reusing the um, the thumb fingers now. I and um, maybe I'll just keep it on for the shorts. Now, I'll, now I'll go into the shorts. And that was my little uh, monologue. Okay, and I'll see you on the next one. Episode sixty six.